Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got a real quick video for you today. I just wanted to show you something I happened to come across at Walmart. I was passing through the, I actually went to the, the knife counter to see if they had anything new or interesting and they didn't. So as I was leaving, I went past the tool aisle. I saw these things hanging up and I thought they looked cool. So I decided to grab one and, um, I, I kind of like them, so I thought I'd show you guys. And it's these Heart brand 4-in-1 Utility Knife 2-pack. So there's two of them. I got this one open. I just stuck it back in show you what it looked like. But yeah, the price on this was $8.88. You get two of them, so it's $4.44 each. Comes with the blades. Um, yeah, I'm like... Oh, well, you can't beat that for a nice little utility knife. See how these things are. So, got home. I took this one out. But, show you what the back says before I do that. Quick change blade mechanism allows for tool free blade change. That's awesome. Metric and SAE scales. I don't really care about that on something like this. Integrated bout opener and driver bit holder. Yeah. There's bottle opener on everything, bit drivers on everything, belt clip, it has a pocket clip already already on it. I thought that was cool. It says except standard size utility blades. That's good. Um, you don't have to buy anything special or something odd. Yeah, here's a diagram. Got the quick change lock button. There's a scale, quarter inch driver, all that. So, yeah, get down to it. Let me close it up, start with. But this is a, it feels really solid. It's got some weight to it. We'll weigh it. Um, now, if you look at it, it kind of, it reminds me of the Big Idea Designs Ruck, which are a lot more expensive, but I think they're all, titanium so they're lightweight and you know something like the ruck I, I never had one or used one or even see one in person but how to me i would think the tolerances and everything would be a lot tighter and something like that than uh mass-produced chinese made product but really this this isn't too bad and four dollars and 44 cents you know eight eight eighty eight for both I, I, you really can't beat it but yeah go over the features a little bit well let's measure and weigh it i don't really know so it is about three inches long about inch and a half wide and it is about three sixteenths thick um, in ounces, it weighs 2.12 ounces. That's on my scale. And, well, let's do that again. In grams, it is 60.1 grams. So it's not real heavy, but there's some weight to it. You know, two ounces. I got regular size knives that weigh that that much but check the pocket clip out that is one of the best features that they could have put on it um i'll show you do do some size comparisons i got some a couple of my other utility knives out here and um show you those in a minute but yeah so in the end you got the cap lifter, bottle opener. I haven't tried it. Um, I'm assuming it, it would work okay. Down here you have like a two and a half inch scale. This side you got a zero to six centimeter. I got a fly buzzing me again. You know, that's okay. I'm sure stuff might wear off. But where was I? going next 
scale, pocket clip, oh, the bit driver, quarter inch bit driver hole. So here's, you know, this is quarter inch bit driver. It, you know, it's not captured, captured in any way. Um, I have some tools that have a hole. They're kind of tapered so it doesn't go all the way through. But yeah, I mean, if you have a bit, or you can get a hold of a bit if you need it, and um, you don't have a driver, yeah, you can, you'll have to hold your thumb over it. But yeah, it, it would work. Where's my little test board? Here's my little test board with a couple of screws. This looks like I got a small, small bit. I think that's probably a number one Phillips, but you can see it's it's working. Even on that screw, get my hand out of the way. So yeah, but you have to kind of put pressure with your fingers on it to keep it in or else it just falls right out. Um, bit driver, bottle opener, scales, pocket clip, like I said, that's that's cool. Um, I'll show you how it, how it operates in a minute, but well, let's just do it. So you get your button here, press it in, slide it up. Actually, there's a stop right there. So you only got a little bit sticking out, which is about, oh, three sixteenths maybe. Well, no, let's go down here. About a quarter of an inch sticking out. That way you can open a package without going too deep and cutting something you don't want to cut. Then you can press it down again, slide it all the way forward. And then you have about three quarters, a little over. Yeah, just, just about three quarters of an inch of the blade, of the edge. That's not bad. Um... Yeah, that seems to work fine. That slides nice and easy. Um, I I, I want to go further with it, but it stops. But yeah, that actually works good. Now that button is plastic, and it's attached to that metal bar there. And I don't know how that's attached or what's inside there. I don't know if that thing's going to pop off eventually or not, but right now it's pretty, it's solid. It's not wobbling on there or anything. This blue, little blue button is the lock to change the blade. And what you do, I can do it, you press it in. Try to get the focus. When you press it in, it moves that, um, Kind of like the lock bar moves that out. So I was having trouble doing it because I was holding, trying to press it like this. And I was fighting myself. So <clears throat> keep your finger off that, you know, just like you'd keep it off a frame lock of a knife. Push that in. Pulls right out. You can flip the blade around. Press that in. Line it up clicks right in now there's a little bit of play right there but you know a lot of utility knives have them and i don't know if i have my regular full-size utility knife out here i do you know this is a full-size normal stanley utility knife and um even that has a little blade play. But come back to that in a minute. But yeah, that works really nice. Um, there's no extra blade storage on this whatsoever. So that's one thing. But, you know, it, it would just make it a little bigger and heavier. If there was extra blade storage. I like the, the pocket clip. Dang fly. Um, probably work as a money clip also. 
that'd be a pretty actually that'd be a pretty cool money clip let me i don't want to drag the sign but here's my little scrimshaw one i did i've been carrying um yeah actually yep double use here um it'd work as a money clip you probably put cards in there you know a card or two yeah i mean that's an idea I just thought about that yeah let's do do a couple size comparisons like i said i already had the standard stanley utility knife out and you can see this there's a whole bunch of difference now you do have and something like this you have more of the blade edge to work with but then again you know this is not a heavy duty utility knife this is for light duty so that's okay now size it up with my <coughs> gerber eab which which i like it locks it's got like a liner lock so and that's quite a bit smaller when it's open close this up just size it up so closed well actually overall length they're they're pretty close uh, overall length and width they're pretty close thickness yeah not not too bad so you know, one thing with this when you open it up you get a better grip i get i can just about get four fingers on it if i was really like trying to cut through cardboard so that's that's one thing you know this i can definitely get three fingers on this so that's a gerber eab light yeah and the one i use the most I carry the most special at work is the the Gerber Pry bread and um pretty and you can see I, I've been cutting sheetrock. I cut some sheetrock with it. Blade's actually rusty. I need to need to change the blade and um see what the This one's toolless. Yeah that, that side's all screwed up. You don't need tools to change the blade on this, but it's not the easiest thing. You gotta push that little little tab in and it'll tear up your thumbnail. At least it does mine. But yeah, this has two positions like like that. That's the real position. That's where you should be using it. But a lot of times I end up using it fully extended. And you have a wire stripper, cord cutter there. This one has a pry tool bottle opener this is a clip that it's a night eyes hip clip i bought this it just sticks on with 3m tape and i, I can't remember how much it cost six seven bucks that thing's been on there for quite a while that is solid so i use this all the time at work um and i usually have it I have a pencil case, you know, kind of nerd pocket protector type of thing. And I keep that in this and that. But if I'm using it, I will clip this in my back pocket. I have a lantern on it to pull it out. But yeah. So anyways, this heart one is quite a bit small, smaller than that. But obviously, this is more, you get a bit better grip on this. I mean, I had no problem cutting through sheetrock, scoring sheetrock with this. But yeah, this, I thought these were pretty cool. Especially for their price. Eight, 888 for two of them. You get a black one and the silver one, which I should have took the silver one out. Just because the logo and everything's not so prominent. But I guess that's okay. Um. Yeah, like I said, I've been, I used it a few times. I've carried it in my pocket. Um, 
it's not a lot of room right there that does, not much of a ramp but I, I've had to kind of help it pull it out a little bit it stays in the pocket good um, actually most of the time I didn't have to pull that but a couple times I did it must be my the hem of my pocket got folded over or bunched up but yeah just something I I saw that looked interesting and um, I grabbed it and I kind of like it um, you want to carry a little utility blade this is pretty small now the Gerber EAB light you know you can finagle that one-handed it's folded up the same size essentially but you open it up you got more more to hold on to the only bad thing about this and it is like the only gripe I have besides the big clip that says Gerber on it is it's not toolless blade change you have to use a screwdriver take that screw out to change the blade and I've dropped that screw I've had to search for it um, paint it's kind of a pain in the butt needing a screwdriver to take that out and try not to lose that little screw but this one that's easy that's that is so easy um it's easier you know than taking that apart messing with that that little tab right there tears my thumbnail all up Lo taking that screw out and losing it this one is just so easy to pop that blade out but yeah i guess i've done enough rambling let you guys all go as usual you know do the stuff hit the like button leave a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i guess till the next video bye